So we have a paronychia on the right middle finger, as you can see there. We're going to start by cleaning it off with some chlorhexidine. We've already given the patient intranasal Versed to facilitate some relaxation in cooperation with the procedure. So once we've kind of cleaned off the area a little bit and flipped the hand over, also going to clean off the palmar aspect of the digit so that we can do our block because once the block is done we'll be able to drain a lot more with a lot more cooperation. And so for the block we're going to use 1% lidocaine without epinephrine and prior to injecting the block we're going to use some pain ease spray. Yeah. Sam, can you come up and help him? Okay. Hold real still. Hold real still. Real still. No. Okay. Hold real still. Try not to move too much. Don't move. I know. I know. I know. Hold on. Hold on. So now we're just, in a minute, okay, buddy? just injecting the hold on, you're doing lidocaine, good. trying Take to infiltrate breath. about one to two cc's right in the subcutaneous space until we can kind of see the wheel form. That's it. Okay. <laughs> So what I would do is I would probably work that up finger a little bit now, it's too yeah. just to yeah, just massage it in a little massage bit, massage it in there, so that it kind of really gets in there. Okay. It's over, okay? All done. The hard part's done. You shouldn't feel anything else, all right? You can see the finger looks pretty tense now, distended with the lidocaine. <laughs> Is your finger starting to feel a little numb? Finger, numb? finger feel numb? Can you still feel your finger? Can you feel him touching your finger? Yeah. So we'll use a number 11 blade for the actual drainage. Oh my buddy, I'm sorry. Can you feel them? Okay, it's okay. Take some breaths, okay? We're done. We're almost done. Take some breaths so you don't throw up. So we can see that your nose and out, more your nose of infection and out on this side than on this side. So we'll direct our blade that way and just try to prop up the finger and keep it flat. Yeah, put the, yeah, put the and we'll just insert flat. it just flat, on there. flat and parallel to the... Yeah. And I would, I would go up. I would give it a little bit farther. Oh, it's almost yeah. done, buddy. They're doing it right now. You're okay. I know. There you go. I know. So we can see feel all better when they're done. how after we got the local block done, right. was able to feel. You didn't feel anything. Didn't really, didn't really feel anything. It's all done. And you can just manually express whatever's left after that you with compression. You want to see what doing now? You can look. We're done. See? We're all done. See? All of it's done. It's not going to be as fat anymore, okay? Not going to hurt anymore, okay? It won't hurt anymore, all right? See? But now that we've expressed all of it, we'll just apply some pressure to control yeah. hemorrhage, and that's it. Where, where you did your block, that's a little bit different. So show, show us again where you did, did your block. So the block where we actually injected the lidocaine, you can still see there's a little blood drop right there, is over the middle phalanx and just distal the proximal ip joint we kind of went in to the subcutaneous space not all the way down to the bone and in the subcutaneous space infiltrated about two cc's of lidocaine and after that kind of massaged it and worked it in and um just from that block the patient had appropriate really good and that was really fast anesthesia distally yeah. in his nail bed Your yeah. finger there, okay? it's about a minute yeah well. you're done that's yeah. it